in today's video, we will be setting up my topwater frog combo. This is a Shimano Corrado. This retails for $200, and I got a Shimano Claris rod, which is about $100, $150, depending on where you get it. And for the setup, I have some thumb grips. For setting this up, you'll need some backing line for this braid not to slip. You'll need something to cut it with. You'll need your rod, of course, and you'll need some lures. First, you take this backing line, which is just some cheap monofilament, and you thread it through the holes in here. Once you get it around the spool, tie a knot. Once you have tied that monofilament knot, put a tiny bit of that monofilament on your reel, and then I will tie this 65 pound braid I just got from Field and Stream. It's pretty cheap, but it works. I will tie an Alberto knot. You can find it on YouTube pretty easily. And that is what I tie for a majority of tying like braid to or leaders to braid or heavier mono to some fluorocarbon. Once you have your knot tied, start to spool your reel up and make sure you don't do it too much. I'm still spooling mine, but after this, I'll go on the lures I like to use. Now, when you have your reel spooled all the way up, you can move on to lures. This is my, hey buddy, it's my dog Trevor. He will be helping me with this video today, but these are all the top water lures I have. I have two six cents Vega frogs right here. I leave one of the skirts long for walking. This bait's excellent for walking in open, more open water, but I like to throw this one more around lily pads. I have two Booyah pad crashers. These are a great beginner frog because they're super like soft, so you don't need a super expensive rod and a super big rod. So at the hook, there's another one. This is a Spro frog, good frog, again, caught some fish on there. I got a River to see Whopper Flopper. I got a Six Sense Speed Lake. A lot of people don't count these as top waters, but I do because they run just along the top of the water. But today, I will be picking this Vega frog because it will work the best for springtime. The knot I like to use is a double uni knot. That works best for my top water lures. Sorry about this, it's raining outside, but this is the best way I can get it. There's my Corrado with the frog. Thanks for watching, and this is the final product. This rod I forgot to mention is seven foot four. I'm kind of short, and I still got some growing to do, hopefully, but this is the perfect rod for me because I don't like the giant frog rods that are like seven nine or anything because they're a little bit too big, hard to get around trees and stuff, but 7.2, 7.4 is perfect for me. Thanks for watching.